So in the series of learning Python programming language, we are discussing operators in Python. In the last video, we have discussed identity operators in Python. So in this video, we will talk about one more operator is left that is membership operator. So this thing we will discuss in this video, everything about membership operator, like what are membership operators and what are types of membership operator. And I will show you with the help of program also. So practical also we will see. Now, see before going to this membership operator, let me just ask you one question. If I have a string, suppose I have a string, something like this, I have a str, a string is Jenny, okay. Now, in Python, we can write double quote or single quote. If I want to check this y, uh, small y is present in this string or not, what we will do? Will that character is y? You want to check this character is present or not, right? So, so one logic is what? Maybe we will compare this with every, in a for loop with every character like is y equal to j? No, then e, then compare with n, n and then compare with y. Yes, y is present, then it will show yes. So in a for loop, we will write down this kind of logic, right? To check if this is present or not. Every character we have to check in a string. But with the help of operator, just to use one operator in Python and you can check this y is present or not. Means we want to check y in this string is present or not. Y in string. Yes? So this checking, this kind of thing, we can do with the help of some operator that is known as membership operator in Python. So there are basically two types of membership operator in and not in, right? So what we membership operators are used to check whether a character or a substring or a value or a variable is present in a sequence. Obviously, this is a sequence of character in a sequence and sequence may be like a string or list or tuple or dictionary or something like this set right although we haven't discussed like list dictionary tuple and set but one example i'll take in this video yeah string i hope you know what a string character of a sequence of characters right so membership operator are basically used to check membership check for membership in a sequence membership of maybe a character or a substring or a value or a variable is present in a sequence or not right i hope you know uh, i hope now you got what as basic use of these membership operators so two types of operators in and not in so in if i write something like this this is my string jenny and i am writing print and a character so that is why we use uh, we will put this in single quote why in str variable name is str or directly we can say y in gen directly we can write down this thing here right but we have taken a variable str so y in str so this in operator will return in this case true because yeah small y is present in this str so in will return true if if that specified value is present in a sequence otherwise it will return false if i check here print n and y in str so this is you can say a substring of this string n and y yes this is present so it will also return true if i write something like this print capital y in str this point of time it will it will return false because capital y is not present in the string small y is present right and what is not in not in me uh, if i write something like this let's understand this with example capital y not in str not in str capital y yeah capital y is not in str that is true yes capital y is not in this string so it will return true so not in will work in a reverse manner of this in it will return true if the specified value specified character or the substring or the variable is not present in that sequence otherwise it will return false if i write something like this print small y or suppose i am checking e small e not in str this point of time small e not in str but it is present 
so that is why it will return false right so these are membership operator and this is an example of string let's take example of uh, let's take one more example list right in list we are having although we haven't discussed list but we'll discuss that thing also suppose i'm taking a list l and here in bracket i'm taking 1 10 minus 1 0 17 some list of integers and i'm checking print 10 in this list now 10 don't need to put single quote because these are simple integer 10 in list in this list 10 is present yes it will return true if i write here print 10 not in l but 10 is in l and we are we are checking 10 not in l but it is present so it will return false right something like this so these operators these identity operator and membership operator we will use in later you know sections so this video is just to get you an idea about these membership operators and how to use these operators right so now let's see practical of these how to use these membership operator so let's create a new file here membership underscore operator dot py right so first take a string str is equal to i'm taking suppose jenny and khatri right j is capital and k is capital and i'm let me just do this now i can i hope you can see this now print and i'm checking small j in str right let's run this it will return false because capital j is present not small j if i write here capital j e n in str it's a we are checking a substring yeah it's present so it will return true right if i write something like this j e n n y and jenny khatri in str but it will return false see because jenny khatri is having a space but here i am checking with no space right if i write something like this now it will return true right and if i write something like this like capital j and i'm writing not in str so obviously it will return false because capital j is present in str right so not in str it will return if i print something like this if i uh, if i check b b not in str yes b is not in str so it will return true it will return true right same for list if i check a list is l when l when i'm taking to suppose 67 0 minus 7 45 something like this right and if i check print uh, 2 in l1 no need to put single code because these are not string so 2 in l1 l1 yes it's true right and if i check 20 in l1 it will return false right second one false right let's just comment this out and if i check here 20 not in l1 yeah it's true right and if i check minus 7 not in l1 but it will return false because it is present in L1. So I hope you got now the basic idea about membership operators, right? So I hope you got what are membership operators in Python. So in the next video, we'll discuss control structures in Python. So now I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.